I got cleared, I guess, three to four weeks ago from Dr. Frederick, and uh, been doing all the lifts. I haven't missed much, so I've been getting back into it. The whole time you've been doing all the lifts? Mm -hmm. So what was it? What was wrong with it? Uh, I just had a break in the ring finger. Uh, it was close to the joint, but um, it was I far enough away hand. that I didn't have to have surgery. Okay. Or no, it was my left hand. Oh, okay. Yeah, not not the wrong hand, but from hitting it uh, right. No, it was. Uh, I guess I got tackled and for some reason tried to keep myself up and rolled over my finger, but um, but no, it's healed up now, so I'm ready. And your ankle? No lingering issues from the ankle. Uh, there's still a little soreness, but um, it's nothing that's going to keep me out or. Um, keep me from playing. So. That's interesting though that after all this time you still have some mm. soreness there. Yeah, um, what are you doing about that? I'm just trying to get treatment every day and um, I mean try and get it healthy but it's a long process so ankle injuries are always nagging since you're walking around campus and, uh, but staying off is the best thing you can do for it and right now it's not very possible with class and football going on. So. You can get one of those stickers you can just drive right up to you at the door. Of your oh, I wish that's I wish what, I get one of those but that's no, it's not gonna happen. But. What's your approach this spring? I know you had you, you agreed that your last year's kind of up and down for yeah. you, and I know you have high expectations. What are you trying to get out of the spring? Uh, just get better every day. Um, the receivers, uh, we got a pretty good receiving core coming back. Only lose Al, which well, only is not a good word, but um, losing a no. pretty big time receiver. But Terrence is back, and uh, we got a lot of young guys that are going to step up too with Jeremy Johnson. Uh, Larry's out this spring, but uh, Ryan Walker's back from his hamstring, and then Cole Lofton's coming back from ACL, and uh, trying to get all these guys healthy, and then uh, get a good receiving core for next year. What have you seen in Terrence? Uh, obviously, being out a year can affect you. But... He's still explosive. Uh, he's uh, he's always had the speed, uh, kind of the downfield play, and um, I mean, from right now, what I can see in spring day two, he's everything what he was in 09, and uh, he's going to continue to get better and uh, continue to get back in the offense. It's hard when you're take off a year, but he's been doing well and keeping up the other guys, and uh, he's going to be a good one for us. Um, I took a break for a little while after the season, just kind of relax and uh, let my body rest. But uh, right now, just getting back to being more accurate with the football. Um, last year, I wasn't as accurate as I thought I was going to be, and uh, a little disappointed in that um, aspect of the game. But um, just getting more accurate with the football and uh, trying to get my feet a little quicker, um, and then putting the ball around the receivers. Coach Morrison giving you lots of wisdom. Yeah, I mean, he's always. he's kind of a quiet coach. Um, most people know that, so he just kind of sits back there and he'll put his two cents in every now and then. But uh, we do most of our work in the film room, and uh, that's when we do most of our talking. What do you think it is in the film, film room that can help you be more accurate? Because you guys, I mean, you spend hours in there working on it mm -hmm. anyway, so what can help you take it to the next level? Well, it's just seeing it, um, seeing how it at like different frames and we got new technology with a uh, new camera we're getting in and you can see the entire field so uh, you can really see the windows that you need to throw the ball in and kind of anticipate where the ball needs to go and um, with my footwork just see how I can improve on that. We watched a lot of Colt Brennan. Uh, that was one of his biggest aspects of his game that uh, he could get his feet down really quick and get the ball out too. Um, with the receivers he had they made plays for him too but um, for right now it's just being more accurate and uh, just trying to fit the ball in the windows. This new technology is interesting so what, yeah. what is it too? Uh, it's more of a, uh, I guess it's a fisheye lens. Okay. So you put it behind me about five yards and uh, you can move it around. Uh, you keep the camera in one spot and uh, with the mouse you can move it to the right and left so you can see the whole field. You can see how the corner's Even playing, the, the safety's. Actually yeah. Stationed. Mm -hmm. so, I, I yeah. wondered why mm -hmm. um, they were shooting down yeah. on the field and instead of up. I thought maybe it was the wind. But. It's more to help us because usually they put the film on top of the stadium right. so it's a bird's eye view looking down at us and you can't really see everything see where the corner's eyes are and see how the safety's playing the receiver and uh, with this technology you can really look into the corner's eyes see where he's looking if he's looking at me looking at the receiver and uh, just kind of tell where he's going to be at or before the play wow that's fascinating yeah it's pretty cool and so how long have you used it just this like, we just got it a couple days, weeks so ago just, so okay yeah well how does your uh i guess confidence change going into a season knowing that you've got six senior offensive mm -hmm. linemen in front of you. They've all started, mm -hmm. they're all experienced. What does that do for you just in terms well, of your comfort level running this offense? It's going to make them a little more competitive within each other. And I think that's going to spark within our offense as well and uh, kind of get guys to see that their jobs aren't safe and um, get everybody to come out to work every single day. And I think it's going to make us a better unit uh, overall. Are you surprised that Josh Laribas has lost as much weight as he no. has? Um, from, where he's, where, from where he was when I first got here, so where he is now, it's pretty much two different people. He was 360. We call him Xbox, like Xbox 360. Um, <laughs> and now he's down to 308, 310. And it, he's actually got definition in his arms. His stomach's good. 
Um, he actually looks small in that jersey he's wearing now. It's a, looking like a big old oaf out there. So, uh, but he looks good. I'm proud of him, and uh, it's gonna, like I said, it's gonna create a lot of competition with the offensive line. Uh, Zach Line played from the UTEP game on with a broken bone in mm -hmm. his back. Um, were you even aware that he was in mm -hmm. pain? And that, uh, just what does it say about him being able to do that position, running with the style that he does? with a break in that back. Well, he's a downhill runner, everybody knows that, and he's not gonna shy away from contact, so I wasn't really surprised. Uh, he's a tough kid, and um, kind of like a brother to me, so, I mean, he picks on me every now and then, we go back and forth, but uh, no, he's a tough kid, and I mean, just how he is. From Michigan, he's a wrestler, he's a tough kid, and just how he is. Hell, he was in the hospital that one week and mm -hmm. played, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Coach Jones was saying it doesn't matter so much that he's sitting out the spring, because. Coach he already knows. Sat out last spring, so. What do you expect from, I guess, Daryl for the first half of spring, and then Kevin? Yeah, I mean, back to offense. They're still going through the learning curve, uh, picking up the blitzes on the outside and stuff like that. So, uh, it's going to be good for them to get more reps, and with them playing back and forth on defense too. I mean, kind of learn both as aspects of the game, uh, at linebacker. And I think they can be pretty successful over there too. So, uh, try and get those athletes on the field as as best as possible without taking reps away from Zach in the fall and. So, I mean, I think they're going to do pretty well, though. Daryl's put on a lot of weight since mm -hmm. he got here. He came in at, what, 210, 215. Mm -hmm. Now he's almost Maybe. 240. Probably less than that. But. Uh, less than that, yeah. right. So he's put even put on even mm -hmm. more weight than that. As big as he's getting, can he? Can you see him starting to do some of the things that Zach did in terms of his strength, running the ball and blocking? Or are they some yeah, completely I mean, different runners? That, uh, I think Daryl might be a little quicker than Zach. But, um, I, mean, they're, I mean, they're two different running backs, though. It's... Daryl's probably more outside, and Zach's going to run downhill and try to run into contact. But, um, I mean, I think he can do well, though. I mean, I think Kevin can do well as well. So uh, it's just getting those athletes on the field and letting them take the ball. Uh, you mentioned Terrence Wilkerson. Mm -hmm. uh, with him coming back, can he be the deep threat that Al was, not only to catch long passes, mm -hmm. but to force defenses to play deep, honor that speed, and therefore mm -hmm. open up a little more room under, over the middle for you? He can definitely be that deep threat for us, uh, try and stretch the defense and get the underneath routes, too. Um, I mean, he's every bit as fast and maybe a little bit more explosive than off the line. Um, they're pretty, pretty uh, similar receivers. Uh, they both go get the ball, and uh, they're not going to shy away. Terrence in 09, he took some shots and got right back up. And um, I mean, he's going to be a good receiver for us.